guys, I'm Rachel Lynn from Queen Bee of Honeydews and I'm back in my son's bedroom. Today I'm going to show you how I made this simple platform bed. It's just one of the projects that I'm doing in this room. So let's rewind and see how I did this project. A standard size queen mattress measures 80 by 60 inches, but because my mattress will recess down into the frame, I'm making it slightly bigger to allow for more ease with changing the bedding. The materials that I used for my frame are 1x8s, 2x4s, and 1x4s cut to these specific dimensions. For the interior support, I used 1x3s. 2 for the support ledge and approximately 18 for the slats cut to the size indicated. To begin this project, I drilled pocket hole screws in the hidden side of the side rails, the leg support, and each horizontal piece of the headboard and the footboard. Using my orbital sander, I sanded down the surface of each piece and then hand sanded the edges just enough to knock down the sharpness off the corners. Next, I began to apply the stain to the side rails and to the horizontal pieces of the headboard and the footboard. This is men wax in Provincial. You'll note that I did not apply it to the interior side of the side rails as I felt this would simply be a waste. Once this was dry, I applied a second coat in Classic Gray to give it that weathered effect. On the legs and the leg support, I applied a gel stain in Onyx and then assembled them together by attaching the leg supports to each leg using two inch pocket hole screws. After the legs were assembled, I then attached the horizontal sections of the headboard and the footboard, maintaining a three quarter inch recess from the front by using a scrap piece of the one by eight as a spacer. For the headboard, I made sure that the lower horizontal section was exactly 15 inches from the bottom of the leg so that it's identical to the footboard. This will leave an approximately one inch gap between the two horizontal boards. Next, I applied two coats of a polyacrylic finish and satin, allowing to dry and sanding between each coat. To assemble the bed, I'm attaching a support ledge to the headboard and making sure that it is level with the bottom edge of the, of the horizontal section on the headboard. Then I'm going to use two and a half inch pocket hole screws to attach my side rails evenly with the inside of the 2x4 legs. Proper bed hardware will make this easier to assemble and disassemble later on, but because I was unable to find some that allowed me to align the bed exactly the way that I wanted, I chose to use pocket hole screws. I repeated the process for the footboard and made sure that everything was level and aligned properly. Next, I attached the support ledge to the inside of the side rail. I wanted my mattress to recess as low as possible, so I aligned it with the bottom edge of the side rail, clamped it in place, and then made sure that everything was level before screwing the ledge in place. Yes, I'm using pocket hole screws to attach the ledge to the inside of this rail. It's just one of my things that I like to do. And if I'm being honest, I'm just too lazy to go out to the workshop to get some wood screws. After repeating all these steps to assemble the second side rail, I then began to lay out my support slats along the ledge and space them accordingly until I'm satisfied with how the layout looks. Once I get the layout the way that I want, I'm attaching each slat with a screw through the ledge just to hold it in place. And then I'm all ready to add my mattress and my bedding. And voila, I'm finished and I have a nice platform bed for my son's bedroom. Well, that just about does it for today. I hope you'll subscribe and stick around with me and see what becomes of the rest of this room.